Now looking ahead to Oregon State, thoughts on them as a team? Um, I mean, yesterday was a uh, an opportunity to survive in advance, and that's what it's out. That's what it's about at this stage of the game. So I'm happy we're we are still alive and kicking, and preparing for another game. Um, Oregon State is a uh, pretty disciplined basketball team on both sides of the basketball. Um, they they're probably going to try to, as they've been, slow the game down, take some possessions away. Um, and play to their strengths, which is half-court basketball, and 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 making sure that you you're staying engaged. And if you're not, they're gonna make you pay. And then defensively, they're pretty stingy. You said, you said a couple times in previous years of the toughest game of any tournaments in a lead eight game. Have you even brought that up with this team this young, or is it just kind of whatever at this point? No, you throw all of that out with this team. This team, this team stays in the moment. So I think they really understand um, where they are and what they want to do. Um, and this is just another opportunity for them to, to get to the end goal. In your mind, though, why is the Elite Eight game the toughest game on the board? Um, I mean, to make it to a Final Four, I mean, you're, you're, you're down to teams that are, that are really good, um, playing well at the right time, and, and luck has something to do with it. So, I mean, we've experienced it all. Did Coach, you sense a higher sense of it. urgency from players today at practice? given that what happened yesterday, or was it kind of the same as it's been all year? Same. I mean, they've been pretty consistent with how they approach practice. We didn't, we didn't do very much. Like, we didn't, we didn't get up and down. We, we just kind of worked on um, our, our scouting report defense and some of the things that we want to get done on the offensive side of the basketball. So nothing was full speed. How similar is Reagan Beers to Mackenzie Holmes in the matchup with Camilla? Um, I, I thought they were, they were going to be very similar. Um, Mackenzie Holmes spent a little bit of time on the perimeter, a lot of time on the perimeter that we weren't anticipating, um, but we were happy about, obviously, because she's so good in the paint. I think Beers will, will be the, the opposite. So what, what Holmes did not do um, in yesterday's game, um, Beers would do her part and what Holmes didn't do. So it's going to be um, double the amount of time that we spent in the paint trying to guard her. Coach, a couple of the players said that they look at you as a second mom. So after a game like yesterday, how do you balance that tough love to correct the mistakes with encouraging them, you know, going into this next big matchup? Um, I mean, that's that's the thing. It's, it's a balancing act with it all, on and off the court. Um, they are, they don't take me too seriously. I don't take them too seriously. But we, we find a, a, we create a good balance of, of I know when they're serious and they need something, and they know when it's time, you know, when play play time is over. But more times than not, they've they've been locked in. So I mean, to to be someone's second mom is is an honor and a privilege. Don, six years ago here in Albany was Asia Wilson's last game mm -hmm. in a Gamecock uniform. That was such a big era for this program. How has your program grown and changed in the six years since then? Asia, who? <laughs> <laughs> Um, I mean, it is it is because of the likes of Asia and Alicia Welsh um, and um, Khadija Sessions. It's because of them, Asia Dozier, it's because of them that we're able to be where we are today. Like, people still talk about their legacy and, they, and wanting to be a part of it and not be intimidated by that legacy. So to come to South Carolina, yes, we have a, you know, a rich history of of success um, and putting players in pro in, in, in the WNBA. Um, and a lot of times people want to be a part of something new and different. Um, and our and our language has changed from the very beginning till now. Like, um, if, if you really want to be a pro, we, we have an atmosphere and environment that's very pro-like, meaning it's competitive every single day you have to be on. And if you're trying to create pro habits, this is the place to be. Um, and I, I'm, I'm thankful that I, I got a chance to, to coach and to be in the daily lives of, of not only our pro players, but every single one of our players. Because you know when you come here, you commit to something that's really hard. 
so we could create the success over and over again. Coach, you talk about uh, this team is able to meet the moment. What does it take for a team to meet the moment, and why does this team have those uh, attributes? Why, how do, why do they possess that? Um, I mean, they've, they've grown. They, they love each other. They genuinely love each other. They want to they wanna do well. They, they laugh at each other. They hold each other accountable in a, in a, in a curious way. Like, I, I hear them talking, and a lot of times we, we really don't have to coach them in certain situations because they're, they're coaching each other, and they're saying, you know, the stuff that should be said. And it's not like it's – not, it's not all positive. And they have a way of just embracing that. And it's, it's super cool because that dynamic has been a hard dynamic to, to navigate, um, to get your peers to hold you accountable. They're so young that they just say what's on their minds, and it's it's normal for them. And I, I think it's pretty cool that that it allows them to just play with a little bit of peer pressure, and and, and because of that, they they don't want to let each other down. So you have to have a little bit of that. And they're good. They're talented. No doubt about it. Like, with the, what I question is our experience. Not them not being in a situation where um, they've been there before. So, I mean, they've they've come together and they've replaced inexperience with togetherness and cohesion and chemistry, and and a lot of times that that can um, that can allow you to to hurdle some things that could, could get in your way. Speaking of experience, coming off a game against Indiana, such a senior-laden team, Oregon State, I don't think has a single senior on the entire roster. Does that change anything for you guys from a game plan standpoint? No, no. I mean, they what they do well is what they do well. Uh, what we do well is what we do well. So it, it'll be a, you know, we're imposing our will on each other. So defensively, we got we got to disrupt. We got to get up in them. We got to make sure that they're not getting their first, second, third option. They're going to create that as well. They they know we're going to be disruptive. So they'll, they'll be patient enough to, to allow us to make defensive mistakes, and, and, and it'll be that kind of battle.